Hey everyone! Welcome back! It's been a while since we made a YouTube video, but we're so excited to share with you our past three weekends of progress on the van. So we have completed the subfloor, we have cut two bunker windows in the back, and we've also cut in our vent fans up top. And we're about to do some insulation after this. So we've been jamming really hard the past couple weeks, and we're so excited to give you a little tour around everything that's been going on. Woo! So we're first going to talk about our subfloor. Doing the subfloor today. Headbands on, so you know shit's going to go down. So, right now I am laying out our furring strips. They are two by twos. And we're gonna lay them out in the grooves. They fit perfectly just above whatever that's called. Before we get everything fully finished cutting, I forgot we do have some holes in the van for when we remove the passenger seats. So we got to make sure we cover them up so it doesn't create rusting. So we're using my dad's steel putty, which we use when we accidentally cut a hole in the van in our first video. So we've got our cross beams that we're cutting right now. They're going to be 18 inches space in between each other. It's looking good. Whenever we did the glue onto the actual metal part of the van, it worked pretty well, but whenever we had to go over something that we put kill mat insulation on, it didn't necessarily stick super well. So for those, we had to go to the store and get some liquid nails, and it worked really well. And for the other stuff, we just used construction adhesive. Day two. Day two, we have glued overnight all of our subfloor, and honestly, it was a struggle, but we got it done. And what are we doing today, Kel? So first we're gonna put insulation into the squares, and then we are going to put the subfloor on top and carve it all out. So it'll be a big slab of wood all over. Let's get to it! Then I used this Havelock wool insulation to go in between the furring strips before we put the subfloor down to create more insulation, moisture wicking, and soundproofing. little pieces of the insulation. It looks so fluffy. Looks like a cloud. I know. Hey, insulation down! Kelly crushed it. We finally completed the subfloor. Woo! Then we installed these little windows on each side of the van that'll be great and go right above our bed dinette situation. Hey everyone, welcome back. It is the next weekend. We put the subfloor in. We finally got something successfully built, which we're super stoked on. And today is probably one of the more exciting days and also probably one of the more scary days. We're gonna be cutting our bunk windows in right here and our fantastic fan in the back. To protect this from all the metal shavings, I'm gonna be putting painter's tape all over it. I read that when you cut the windows, they sh fly everywhere. And I don't wanna have to pick all these shavings off of this. So this is our window. 
We have two of them that we're gonna be installing today that had the gasket on it already, so we're removing the screws so we can take it off and make our template. What's a gasket? A gasket is the framing that the window goes inside, so it seals it off. And we also recommend getting one of these little metal bowls. They're like $2 and they're magnetized, so you can drop your screw right into it and then you'll never lose it. We're creating our template right now with the box that it came in because it's a perfect size. That was a really great fake. So now that we've cut our template, which is right over there, we have actually created a sample of what the hole is we're actually gonna cut. So this is what we're gonna put in the side of the van. And if you see, if you've done everything right, it'll fit perfectly over this. And then when you put the gasket on, then you put the gasket on and, and you're gonna screw that in. Gorge. That's our janky job, but I think it works. You'll notice I was doing very light swipes. Don't try and go and cut right through it because that's when you'll lose control and that's when if you bind it, it'll kick and hit mm -hmm. you. Uh, and and yeah. don't touch it. It's gonna get really freaking hot. So we had to cut these ribs down with an angle iron. So as you can see, they're a little raggedy, but it's the only way that we could fit in our windows on each side. And it was a little dangerous because there was some very tacky glue that we had to carve out with tools. And I got my first van injury while doing this part. We have our first injury. Oh. Ah, hardcore. You good? Yeah, I'm fine. Right now we're framing it out with tape. Whoa! We got a hole! It was like a baby kicking, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, hello. Hello. Looking good. We have two windows in the back and it's green. I bye. know, bye. And then finally, we installed these fans both the same day and it was actually a lot simpler than the windows because they just used the exact same template 14 by 14. It was just really hot which is why it was such an exhausting experience. Hey everyone, it's the next weekend and we are going to be cutting our vent fans in. We have all of our materials that I'm going to go through right now. We've got our drill, we have our beetle tape, we have our jigsaw with an abundance of blades in case they break. We've got our glue gun and we have some black seal type caulking stuff to make sure that water doesn't get in. We have some painter's tape. You know, I don't really know what this thing's called, but it makes your initial pilot holes bigger and it's fun to use. So we're gonna get that as well. We have our cloth uh, that's gonna be here to protect our interior from metal shavings so they don't rust. We have this as an initial score because we're going into metal. So we just kind of like pop it in and we have a little mark of where to drill a hole. And we have our resting paint. So we're gonna paint a little coat after we cut our hole so it doesn't rust. And a tape measure, always need one. So our fantastic air fan is gonna go right here. And there's actually a little circle indentation in the vent already. So it's gonna make it pretty easy to place. And our second fan is gonna go in the back. Right here. It's gonna go right here because we have both of our windows right here. So with the fan, and the windows open, it's gonna be an amazing cross freeze. 
Also, it was 95 to 100 every single day this week, and it's gonna be another scorcher today. So we are gonna try and get this done as quick as possible and as early as possible so we can not overheat like we have been the last couple weekends. Just in case you guys want to see, here's a fantastic air fan. We actually installed this exact same one in our teardrop. So we're gonna do this one first because we've already done it before, but we have not done it in something that's metal. So we'll see how this goes. It's a square, I've seen one. But here's a little trick tip. So when you want to get it center, what's great about sprinters, which is why people probably use them, is that they have all these holes already lined around. So you just find the center hole so you know where the center is. Safety first. Almost forgot my glasses. Safe, safe feel. We gonna shake up this place. So I've never seen anyone do this before, but I think we're gonna just cut the hole from the inside and then just get up top to do the final touches because I don't really see why not. We'll see if it's a good idea shortly. So I can see now why people do it from the top. We're gonna finish this one from the bottom, but we may just go to the top for the next round because I've got shavings all over me. Kinda hurts. Not good for your body. I'm gonna get a mask for my face so I don't breathe in any more of this toxicity metal shavings. But it's uh, it's going pretty good. Hi, I'm here and I brought coffee. Hell yeah! New ladder. New ladder. Let's see New if me. that's taller. Okay, so Sam just swept on top of the roof, and now it's my turn to make sure there's no more metal shards in this van. First time on the roof, Kelly. Okay, I'm up on the roof. <laughs> kind of terrifying. And I'm going to paint the rustoleum around the edges of the fan cutout on both sides to make sure we don't get no rest. And well. And well. <laughs> oh my God, that is kind of terrifying to have your phone on the edge of a van roof. Um, Maybe you want to switch to my phone? No, let's risk it. Oh, hello! Because we're doing installing this over a rib right here, the only way to get it flat is to install uh, a couple extra layers of butyl tape so it could lay flush. So that's what I'm working on right now. Knife! Scissors. So we are gonna hammer this to try and get it more level so we don't run out of tape. So I'm gonna put the camera down so I don't break the camera. All right, so that definitely worked. Hammering it down actually was a good idea. It's your cue, say it. I need some screws, please. Woo! Woo! I'm needed. Great sure it goes this way. Fits like a glove. So now we're gonna put some caulk on it to protect it. Installing the second one. Fantastic fans a little bit simpler. Putting it in. Fits oh! Like Fits like a glove. Okay, so Phil is going around all the fan lines and I am here to smoosh it in. We're so close to being done with this, today's project. How hot do you think it is? 94. I don't have an answer, I was just wondering. <laughs> Zayn? Yes! Killed it. Fuck yeah. So that takes us to today. We are going to try and insulate the van a little bit. It's like five o'clock. It was another 90 something degree day. So we're just gonna have some fun, try and get as much done as we can today. And yeah, we're excited. The rigs. The rigatonio. He's gonna help us insulate a little bit. Every time he sees the van, he gets so excited. He's okay. such a van pup already. Hello, Tonys. Again, can't stress this enough. His name is actually Sonny, but we only refer to him as Tony and to Toonie and Tones and Rigs and Rigatoni. Oh, he's so handsome. Okay, you're obsessed with him. I get it. I get it. I'm laughing about my Huckleberry. <laughs> Poodle? Yes. Can you help us insulate? Yes. Okay, Jackson, we got our team back. 
Oh, you right. made it work right away. <laughs> yeah. So here's our insulation. We are gonna just stuff it until we can't stuff it anymore. Okay, so we are probably not going to insulate the ceiling until later on when we have run some wires and things like that. Same with uh, this part of the wall because um, we're just going to use some string to keep it up right before we put the walls on. Thanks for watching this video. I'm Kelly. I'm Sam, and this is Sunny. And we hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Oh, he just licked the inside of my mouth. <laughs>